Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss the 30 day study plan for the upcoming ASRB ICAR examination. I know that a little less than 30 days are left because it's uh, 7th already and therefore uh, we have around 27, 28 days but we will try and make use of the time as best as possible. Okay. Now to give you a brief idea about what all topics you are going to be covering or what all topics are going to be asked in the next uh, in, in the examination. There are four sections in phase one, English, numerical ability or quant, reasoning and general studies or GK. We can call it whatever we like. In this study plan, I am going to assume that you are already aware about some of these topics or all of these topics and therefore you will be spending majority of your time in strengthening your strengths first uh, further and in reducing your weaknesses aapko apne weaknesses ko kam karna hai aur apni strengths ko aur zyada strengthen karna hai that is the objective of these last 30 days two tests of asrb icar have already been released have already been given to the students and further test will be given in the next one week ek week mein sare test aapko mil jayenge so that will also be very helpful in your preparation okay now what all are you going to do in the next 30 days in order to prepare well and in order to be confident when you go in for the examination. Aapko kya kya karna hai? Let's have a look at that. Number one is you can start with geography. The entire geography syllabus has already been covered. Aapko pura geography de diya gaya hai, physical as well as human geography of India and the entire world. So you can go through that. Aapke maha se basics cover ho jayenge. If nothing, those 15, 16 chapters that I have provided you, basics cover you would not have to spend a lot of time on other things. Along with that part of geography, you can just attempt tests or un test ke through aapka revision bhi ho jayega. And you can use what is called as reverse engineering. So what we do in reverse engineering is you go through a question. Okay. Aapka let's say wo question galat ho gaya or you did not know about that question's answer. You had not read the concept. So your objective is to cover that concept in the same day when you have attempted that test. This is called as reverse engineering. So through this test, you have through this question, you have covered this entire concept in the same day. This way, if there are 50 questions on geography, for example, in one test, and uh, if you know 20, you don't know 30, so you have covered concepts. Kar liye cover. That is the objective. Okay. So from 8th to 10th, three days, I'm spending on revising the entire or if you have not covered it even once then covering the entire syllabus of geography. There are a total of 15 chapters that I provided but they are very brief kept in mind that there are only 30 days left for the examination so uske hisab se hi banaye hain briefly. So I, I, I see that it is completely doable that you can cover the these 15 chapters in the next three days if you want to okay. Saath saath, in the morning time or half the day you are spending on covering geography, the next half you are spending on covering English language. This is if your English is weak. If you feel that if uh, if you feel that you are above average in English, then you can rely on mocks to revise your English. You can skip covering the basics. However, on the other hand, if you feel that you are weak in English, then you should be spending three four days on covering some important topics of English. For example. Uh, practicing some reading comprehensions number one secondly practicing close test or para jumbles practicing some fill in the blanks all those things can be done if you are weak at english okay please keep in mind that this idea of covering two subjects at the same time uh, morning and afternoon is also completely optional if you feel that you should be covering only one set uh, one subject in one day you can do that you have complete freedom there are changes that you can make in the timetable that I'm giving out to you. Okay. The second is polity and governance that you can cover from 11th to 14th. The entire syllabus of uh, part two or part B or phase two as we like to call it or tier two is also a part of tier one and therefore try and cover the entire syllabus before tier one itself. That will be very helpful. This is an area where they like to ask questions and therefore I'm expecting the polity se achche questions aayenge. Okay. Simultaneously, you can cover numerical ability or what we popularly call as quant. You can cover it from 11th to 15th. 
I'm giving it a total of five days because normally students are a little weak in numerical ability. And because it is of 50 marks, therefore, you should not be ignoring it. Try to be confident in it. Try to be uh, very well versed with uh, the, uh, the, the basics as well as the formulas of quant. That will help you a lot. Okay. The third that you have to cover uh, after you have covered numerical ability is reasoning. I'm giving out another five days for reasoning. Reasoning is easier than quant. You can skip puzzles if you want to, if you're weak in this or arrangements as some of us like to call it. Please skip this. Please do not cover it if you are not very good at reasoning. Even if you're good at reasoning, I would recommend not to pick it up a lot. Try and focus on other areas of logical as well as verbal reasoning. They are going to be of much higher weightage and they are going to be more doable in the examination. So you should be focusing on that only rather than focusing on what is more difficult and normally students are unable to get high marks when it comes to puzzles or arrangements. Okay. Simultaneously, economic and social development and development issues, the entire coverage of this is already been done. So you should try and cover it in 15, 16, 17, three days. It is very much doable in three days because it is very logical in nature. You don't have to remember anything other than facts. Facts to aapko yaad karne hi padenge, but you don't have to remember anything. Okay. When it comes to current affairs, then you have to cover it daily. Okay. Fortunately, I am covering uh, PIB 247 nowadays through questions and answers. So you can cover monthly PIB along with me in the afternoon where I cover it. Try and cover PIB of one year if possible. Along with PIB, try and cover spotlight as well of at least three to four months. Spend more time on covering PIB. You don't have to cover the entire spotlight. Try and cover important areas from UPSC point of view like national, international, okay, and GDP forecasts, okay, MOUs. Try and focus on these areas. Do not touch upon areas like sports, important days, miscellaneous. You can skip out on those areas as well. Okay. But make sure that you are covering PIB 247 of one year. That will ensure that whatever questions you are getting in current affairs, you are able to answer majority of them. I am giving it 18 to 25th, but I would recommend ki aap, what you can also do is uh, current affairs in the afternoon every day. And simultaneously, you can cover one other topic. But the problem with that is the entire general studies or GS is of 50 marks. Now, in this GS of 50 marks, the expectation is that you will have, let's say, geography of 5 to 10 marks. You will have polity of about 10 marks. You will have economic and social development and development issues of about 10 marks if not more okay you will have history again of about five to seven marks okay uh, you will have science also they're very fond of science at times so you might have it of about five marks so already 50 marks are done so the maximum that they can ask from current affairs is about five marks five marks seven marks then they have to compromise on other areas keeping that in mind spending a lot of time on pib 247 or spotlight is not advisable but you should not be spending less time also otherwise you will lose all those five marks okay so what is advisable is cover pib 247 and spotlight with me and neha ma'am neha ma'am has already covered spotlight over the last three four months so wo ek bar please watch those sessions that are available in the course as well as on youtube and pib 247 i am covering daily on youtube uh, for nabard examination that is useful for this exam also exactly the same so you should be using that as well. Okay. That is the next one. Simultaneously, you can cover history. History, Hamari, uh, word history has already been covered. Indian history has started and it will be covered in the next two, three days. It is almost done. So you can uh, comfortably cover history in four days. Bahut a simple tarike se padhai hai. I think you will be able to cover it very nicely. General science is something that if you are not from science background, you will find difficult to understand. That is why I've kept it for the last so that you can at least remember it for five, six days. If you are from science background, to aapko karne ki bhi nahi so at, uh, then it will be just a revision. So in that case, also, you can keep it towards the end. Ki bhai revise karna hai. Two, three days, mein I can revise entire 
general science okay that is why i have kept it towards the end the time table for comprehensive mocks is this although i have already breached the time table mock 1 was provided mock 2 was provided and mock 3 will be provided in the next 2 3 days so we already provided two mocks ahead of our time and uh, the remaining mocks will also be provided ahead of its time but i have kept the last uh, the 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 latest time for mock 10 as 27th september but it will be provided before that only okay so this is the time table that you should be following in the next 30 days if you want to prepare well for the examination try and cover two subjects try and take test every alternate day हमारे पास बीस दिन पच्चीस दिन है इफ़ यू आर टेकिंग अ टेस्ट एवरी ऑल्टरनेट डे यू विल बी स्पेंडिंग यू विल बी एबल टू स्पेंड अबाउट द नेक्स्ट टेन डेज ऑल्सो साइमल्टेनियसली ऑन टेस्ट तो वो प्लीज करिए दैट इज गो टू हेल्प यू अ लॉट इफ यू आर एबल टू फाइंड क्वेश्चन एल्सवेयर डू प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन एल्सवेयर एज वेल इन एडिशन टू द टेस्ट दैन आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू दैट आई ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड प्रोवाइडिंग यू दैट विल ऑल्सो हेल्प यू अ लॉट ओके so if uh, this is the uh, study plan for the next uh, 25 to 30 days for the upcoming AS, asrb icar examination if you have any doubts related to this uh, you can ping me in the comment section below you can also call me you have my number it is there uh, on my website it is there on my youtube channel and if you want to talk to me you can also talk to me between 6 to 8 pm you can get my number from my sales team they will help you out in uh, having Uh, connecting uh, having to connect with me uh, between 6 pm to 8 pm on all the days okay so this is all for this session i hope this plan is going to help you in your preparation i hope it will help you organize your studies better all the best guys take care bye bye